Are you afraid of the market? Hey, thanks for tuning back in. My name is Robert Mack, and if you're a buyer out there, I'm sure you have some concerns about what's going on in the market. We've talked about this in the past. It's not any new news for anybody, but it's something that I think that we should continually discuss to make sure that we control the narrative, right? I've discussed this in the past. If you're watching TV, their job is to sell news, sell ads. So they're always talking about doom and gloom. You're on social media, you're talking to friends and family at holiday parties. The topic of conversation is the impending recession, the housing crisis. In fact, I've talked about this before, 57% of buyers believe that the recession will affect the housing market, this, this future housing market, as bad or worse than in 2007 and 2008, which if you watched my market update last a couple weeks ago, the data just doesn't support that. But at the end of the day, that is the mindset out there, you know, kind of out in the buyer community. And so it's something that we have to talk about and address. So for me, I like to operate with no emotion. It's really more about, does this make sense for me? And if it does, let's put a plan together and make it happen. I can understand that buying a home can be a very emotional thing, a very scary thing, a very exciting thing. But if you can get all your ducks in a row and understand what you're really getting into, you should be able to eliminate a lot of the fear. So what's going on out there right now is that interest rates are hovering still at a very low rate. The cost to borrow money is almost historically low than it has been over the last five, six, seven years. Home prices are beginning to flatten out in certain areas. In some areas, they're falling, and in other areas, they're still going up. So where you're looking really matters. But at the end of the day, what we're seeing is that a lot of buyers are afraid. They're afraid to submit really strong offers with the fear that the prices are going to start falling. They're afraid to submit strong offers because they're afraid that the recession will impact their, their financial situation. They're afraid of the unknown. And we've talked about this in the past. When there's unknown and uncertainty, that creates fear. When fear is there, that creates doubt. And when there's doubt, that ultimately creates paralysis. And that, that's what we're seeing right now is that a lot of buyers that want to buy, that can afford to buy, that know that it's the right move to buy, are afraid to do it now. And so here's the best advice I could give you. If you're thinking about buying, number one, connect with a great local real estate agent. If you're in the Orange County area and you want to work with myself or my team, please send me an email or contact the office. Would love to learn more about your situation and find a way to help you get what you want. If you're not in the Orange County area and you need a referral to a great agent, let me know. I have an extensive network of the top agents across the country that I can refer you to so that you can get the answers to the questions that you have and understand more about the market you're looking in. Number two, find a lender that's going to help you understand what it takes to be able to buy a home. Now that lender might come by way of a referral from me. It might come from a referral from the agent you're working with. It might be a friend or family member or somebody you've used in the past. At the end of the day, talk to a lender and understand a couple things. First of all, the lender is looking for CIA, right? Credit, income, assets. What does your credit look like? Are you, are you worthy of borrowing the bank's money? That's how they look at it. Number two, how much money do you make? Because we want to make sure that whatever payment you qualify for, you, in, you have the ability to pay the money back. That's what the bank wants to see. And what are your assets? Now, depending on the loan you get, you might, only need, you might need 0% down. You might need 3% down. You might need 5% down, 15, 20, 40. There's no one size fits all. That's the beauty of it. Now, if you talk to a real estate agent and you understand the local market that you're focusing on, and you speak to a lender and you understand your financial situation, whether the market goes up or it goes down or it stays flat, at the end of the day, owning a home is one of the best investments you can ever take advantage of. And most people live in a home for five to 10 years. So even if the market goes down, it'll eventually come back up. And real estate is always a long-term investment. It's not a one or two year thing that we've been conditioned to believe because of how aggressively prices went up from 2002 to 2005 and for how aggressively prices went up from 2013 to 2018. So at the end of the day, we've heard it, we've heard it before, knowledge is power. 
understanding what you're getting into will create certainty and will put you in a power position. Just wondering, you're just always going to wonder. So I hope you found value in this message. If you did and you know somebody that's interested in buying a home, share this with them. If you found this video on social media, give me some social media love. Again, if you're looking to buy in the Orange County area, please send me a message, whether it's a DM on social media, whether it's an email response to this message that we mail out, whether it's from YouTube, it doesn't really matter. You can get in touch with us any way you want. We want to help you. And if you ever have any video ideas you want me to talk about in the future, send those my way as well. Until then, happy selling.